say we're, we're looking for guys that are serious about getting an education, that want to get their degree, that are ultra competitive on the court, um, that love coming to practice every day, that love being part of the family atmosphere, because that's truly what, what we have here at AIC. Yeah, my philosophy, I don't know that it's changed too much. I mean, the game has changed a lot. You know, when I was an assistant coach, there was an emphasis put on throwing the ball inside. Um, and now with the, the evolution of the game and guys becoming even more and more skilled, you don't see a lot of back to the basket guys. So the three point shot has become uh, uh, something that's very, very important, something that we're putting a premium on as far as recruiting right now. Um, and the game's played at a much higher pace uh, than it was, you know, 10, 15 years ago. So, you know, you kind of got to evolve with it and, uh, and, and, and adapt, and I think we've done a pretty good job of that. Well, you know, obviously it, it, it's not too hard to watch uh, a game or even a highlight tape and, and see if somebody has some skill set, some athletic ability, some quickness, all that sort of stuff. Um, but aside from that, we look for things like what kind of teammate is, is that prospective student athlete? You know, so even when they're not in the game, you know, are they somebody that's on the bench actively engaged, you know, cheering on their teammates? Are they genuinely excited for their teammates? Um, are they encouraging their teammates? Um, are they diving on the floor for loose balls? You know, are they going, are they running over there to pick their teammate up? Is that something they're, they're, they're interested in doing? Is that something they're, they're, they're vested in? Um, so those are some of the intangible type things we, we, we look for. We talk to a lot of, as many uh, coaches that, that the pr prospective student athlete has had, whether it be high school or you know, club AAU coaches, um, to see what type of person they are. Um, and obviously we look for guys that achieve in the classroom. You know, uh, we don't want to put time into chasing guys around, seeing if they're going to class. We want guys that are, that are interested in getting a degree um, that understand at some point that ball is going to stop bouncing and, and life comes at you real fast. So you need, you need to have a degree to fall back upon. I think just in general, institutionally, I mean, we, we excel in, in just opportunity. You know, um, we give a lot of opportunity uh, to a, a broad demographic. Um, we, we're, we're extremely uh, diverse here. Um, and we have guys that, that could get into a lot of different schools across the country or actually pick any school they could get into. And then we have a lot of guys where AIC might have been one of their two or three choices um, academically. So, you know, I really do think we, like our motto is here, you know, transforming lives. I really do think we provide that opportunity. And that's where I think AIC and our institution provides a lot of opportunity to explore, particularly early on in your career as far as what, what you like, what you're good at. And that's what I really try to talk to our guys about, like find something you really enjoy, find something that, that, you, that, that, that you're good at, um, and, then, and then pursue that and see where that takes you. Our league from top to bottom every year is one of the best Division II conferences in the country. Um, to be able to coach in this league, I, you know, is, is, is a real, you know, it's, it's something I don't take lightly, you know. Uh, uh, the guys we're going up against, I think at one point uh, before uh, the coach at Southern New Hampshire retired, we had three or four guys in the league that have won over 600 games in their career. I don't know what other league in the country could, could boast that at any point in time, but uh, it's a really, really high level. I'm, I'm honored to be here and honored to be the head coach and uh, uh, continue to, to run this program and, and keep the winning tradition going. But this was a place where I came as an assistant coach and I thought I'd be here for two years and then move on and here I am 15 years later and uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the path that, that, that I've chosen and I couldn't be happier to be here and be a Yellow Jacket with the rest of our family.